Hey everybody, this is Christy with Little Roots Ranch and I wanted to share with you something that I did recently that I thought was pretty cool. Um, as you may or may not know, uh, we're kind of on this journey to, to becoming a farm and so while I was still on an eighth of an acre plot, I was thinking of ways to perfect like seed saving and stuff like that. So um, one evening, actually for an anniversary salad, uh, we had two organic bell peppers that were local and uh, local-ish and um, so I decided to save the seeds and to see what you know if they would germinate or, or whatever and I read online that it works really well I know they weren't from Mexico I've heard of like the UV sterilization that happens or whatever but I was like eh, I'll just give it a try I wasn't too vested because I wasn't exactly sure what was gonna happen with it or, or whatever so I had a red one and an orange one. Yellow ones are my favorite, but nonetheless, they're all good. And so I, um, and they were sitting on the counter. My kids had chopped them up and I saw the seeds and I thought, hmm, I wonder if I could save that. And I didn't, I didn't know or think that they would germinate or whatever. And at this point we'd already paid for the bell peppers for the salad. And so that would be a free, free seeds basically for me. And um, so, what I did was I have a million of those uh, four inch pots, which are like really three inches or something. I don't understand that whole scenario. But anyways, just a little circle ones. You can buy them on Amazon. I think it's like a hundred for $10 or something along those lines. And so I filled it with my, um, what I use for my soil blocks, which is compost, peat moss, uh, blood meal, perlite, and gypsum sand, I believe that's everything I put in there. Anyways, and so I put that in and I filled it halfway because again, I wasn't very convinced. And then I, sorry, my camera work is really bad. Anyways, and so I, I, I put them inside and I just threw a bunch in there. And I was reading online that, that they say that actually a lot of times they'll germinate right away because there isn't a chemical that, or a hormone or something, whatever that's released. And so that it doesn't, um, it doesn't take forever to germinate. And that a lot of people said that they witnessed uh, germination like next day or, or whatever. And so I tried <laughs> and I didn't notice it next day or even I think two days. It was on par with maybe a little quicker than the rest of the peppers that I've um, grown from seed uh, that were purchased for seed packets or whatnot. Um, but within I'd say like four or five days, I started having a bunch of little stems come up and I was really excited. Um, and so I did one pot for the red uh, bell peppers and one pot for the uh, orange bell peppers. But then when they were all coming up, I was like, well, oh, actually I should add a picture of them coming up. I'll just pause my video and then insert it because I think that's how you do it. Okay, and so I wasn't sure exactly what to do with space because we were in the middle of closing on our farm. I had completely exhausted my eighth of an acre in the city and I was waiting to get on my 2.5 acres out in the country. And so I had all these peppers and I haven't really uh, split plants. Like I've had two tomatoes grow up in a soil block and I just split those easy peasy, but obviously I had a ton of peppers and you know, I still wasn't sure they'd be viable or, or whatnot. And I was gonna be moving, and I didn't really have the space, and so I just left them in there a little bit longer than I think I probably should have, but in the end, I think it actually worked out well. I thought I had left it too long. And so as I'm getting settled in my new place, I still don't have, obviously you've seen our last video, working on clearing the brush and all of that stuff to make room for beds and all that stuff that needs to get done. Uh, but what was really cool was that I had a bunch of like little, I don't know, four by four, circle and, and square uh, little container things and stuff. And so I was able to put all of them in there. And so I'll insert a picture. And so basically, yeah. And, um, and so now I've got, oh, I didn't count. I should have counted before the video. I don't know. I'd say like 
50, 50 plants. Um, and I've still actually got seed because I didn't plant all my seed because I didn't know. And it was just from those two peppers that were going to be discarded. And obviously I'll have to update later in the season how the fruit turns out um, or the vegetable or what. I don't know. I still haven't figured that one out. I always mess that up because I, I think of it as, you know, whatever. Um, you guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> but um, I'm just so excited. And so, of course, with this abundance, I've reached out to, I've managed to create a nice little community of people and, and we share things. And so I'm uh, trading out uh, six pots for some lemon thyme and just sharing with my friends and family and, and local uh, gardeners or market gardeners in my community as kind of experiment and kind of along the the first steps of, of seed saving i really want to focus on retaining my seeds and and i bought a seed saving book and and i already have some seeds that were retained from last year and even the year before and i want to do that more heavily this year especially because we're going to have uh 21 or 22 types of tomatoes and i'm so excited um I think if I was left to my own devices, I'd have like 200 types of tomatoes and like I could do like 10 acres of just tomatoes. Um, it's so exciting and, you know, kind of going through that process. I'm newer, obviously, and so going through that process of figuring out what's going to work in, in my location and with my farm and with my time and, um, you know, and what grows well and what tastes really delicious. I think the one I'm most excited for is the gold metal tomato. I'll have to do a video on all the different tomatoes that I have. Um, but I don't know, it just, it looks so beautiful. Well, I guess there's also my current tomatoes. I've got two or three different types of current tomatoes, which I've never grown before. I've grown the small cherry or the pear-shaped ones, which I'm also growing, of course. Um, and then just all kinds of ones, really, like multicolored ones and I don't remember any of the names and I feel on the spot because I'm new at recording. So, but anyways, I just wanted to share with you what I did with the peppers and obviously I'll keep you updated, but I thought, you know, for a lot of people right now, they're really struggling financially or they're wanting to experiment without like putting in additional money and, and stuff like that. And your local grocery store could actually be an excellent resource for, uh, or, or even just food that you already have or things that are in your garden for saving and, and keeping those seeds. You know, I just dried them out. There wasn't any of the like mucus lining or, or any of that stuff on those seeds. Like, like you would get like a cucumber or tomato for instance. And um, you know, and obviously I'm hoping that they produce well and, and all of that. A few things to keep in consideration. I'm by no means an expert, but I do believe that fruits and vegetables brought in from other countries are UV sterilized, or I think they're supposed to be. Um, and so when I try and save seed from produce, I usually try to keep it to really local like, or hyper local farms that they have farm stands or, or whatnot before, of course, I have my own farm. And, and if not that, then, then uh, organic produce. And then of course, um, but I mean, any produce will work and, you know, the ability to grow food for your family or, you know, get an amazing supply of bell peppers for salsa. I understand they're not spicy. Serranos are my favorite in uh, salsa. And actually, I'm growing a purple serrano this year. So I'm in the Pacific Northwest. So I, I'm hoping that they actually turn purple, but I'll keep you updated. So yeah, that's all I just wanted to share with that experiment with you and all, um, you know, and just all the pepper plants I was able to get for me and my family, as well as um, share with my friends, family, and community. But okay, thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, thanks, bye. So these are all of the orange ones that I was able. So keep in mind, all of these grew in a little pot just like this one. Um, and I just separated them out, it was really gentle. After I separate them out um, to keep them from wilting, uh, which I actually think they're looking really great, I then took them out of the sunlight and gave them a lot of water. So that way they could focus on creating roots and working on themselves, if you will, without having to worry about like photosynthesizing and all that other stuff. But so these are all of my orange ones. And then over here are the red ones. And the red ones were larger 
and it looks like everybody looks to be doing really great so I'm really excited about that and they've been outside of course with the move they had a forced hardening off and and they're doing great I'd like to have kept them in a little bit longer but you know um, yeah so I've still just got them here and I need to make more room but yeah those are the orange ones and those are the red ones and I still have I'd say this would be about half of the seeds and we weren't even conscious of saving the seeds because I didn't know that I was going to save them I just saw them on the plate and I was like huh I wonder if I could turn this into more food or if I can do something with that and you know can I share that information with other people um, let's see if I can also I have really exciting news um, I'm waiting for my flower overalls to arrive today this is completely not related to bell peppers but I'm waiting for my flower overalls to arrive. I ordered them from Duluth. I saw them online. It's not like, excuse me, it's not like a sponsor or anything. I just love them and I've been, excuse me, waiting. And I told my fiance that I wanted to get them and she told them, she told me after we got our farm and then we were just too busy. And so I ordered them and it's not Amazon. So I have to wait more than two days. <laughs> and so they're supposed to arrive today. Uh, my calculation is between 11 and noon, and I'm really excited about that. Again, it's not really related, but yeah. So I just wanted to update that. Okay, bye.